Yeah. What is going on out here? I don't know. <laughs> Children. Yeah, I'm gonna drive better than that. Okay, yep, alright. And just like do it on your back. This floor is so squeaky clean, it's like squeaking every time I step. Take your shoes off. He mopped it, Brian. It's clean. Yeah, don't dirty it up, dude. There you go. Silence. Yeah. Like a ninja. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right, so we've got a 2022, right? Yeah. Terex. KRX. It's not Terex anymore. It didn't say it anywhere. It's out. No Terex anymore. What do you got up against the Terex, man? Uh, so if there is one feedback of the name of this thing, it would be take the Terex out of the name. I don't know why they did that, honestly. Nobody does. It, was it just makes the name it's long. Continuity. Yeah. I, I mean, I get it, right? Because they have the Terex, but... Nobody, nobody calls it that. I know. It's just the Kerex. Just Kerex. They might as well just drop it at this point. Kirks. Kirks. Yeah, so we decided we're gonna do a full walk around, show you some of the, highlight some of the parts we did on this. So this started out as off camber, wanted a KRX, and then Ryan loved it so much that he went and sold his Turbo S and said, this is my new car. I don't think we told anybody about that. Oh, well, yeah, he kind of hinted. Now we did. Yeah, we did. It's out now. Yeah, it's gone. Turbo Princess is Sparkles gone. is gonzo in Colorado. You can call it whatever you want now. <laughs> It's in Colorado. Uh, Is it Reaction UTV? Yeah, Reaction Off-Road UTV. Hangs out with those guys. Travis, the guy that bought it, um, hangs out with Reaction Off-Road UTV, so you guys will probably be able to see it. You'll still see it on YouTube. Videos. So yeah. go check out their videos. They got a lot of cool stuff. They do go to a lot of cool places and film a lot of cool stuff. So check their, their stuff out. We should go to Colorado. And show around and say, we need to. It's too hot here right now. I would like to go to Colorado. Let's do it. Right. Yeah. Done. So anyway, Ryan sold his Turbo S. Yeah. He planned on doing it anyway because apparently the Speed UTV, so. zoom in on his face, <laughs> is coming any day now. Supposedly is what. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, no. The realistically, they're telling you what you think so October. The last video and what they're telling everyone is that first group of cars is going to be the customers end of August, early September. So everybody's having problems. Can we talk to Speed for a second? Say, hey, do what you can, deliver this thing to Ryan at UTV Takeover in October. I'm sure that's exactly what they're going to do. They're all planning that. Let right? me hurry up and like get this guy, his car, before <laughs> everybody else about. put their money down way before him. <laughs> so anyway, October is what they're, they're, they're hoping my range of numbers are Yep, and yours is a four-seater, so you didn't need two four-seaters. So the Turbo right. S is going to go for sale anyway. We had this, and he's like, I drive that more often anyway, and so now he's team green. Okay, so let's yeah. let's start. Show us show us what we've done this thing. Obviously, it looks pretty slick. So maybe just seen it already a couple times, but um, we did zebra springs up front and in the rear. Really, both? I mean, <laughs> we started with the front, didn't 
<laughs> make a little bit of difference, so we put them on the back too. <laughs> it's like a cool thing to do. No, we did a video on that. Um, yeah. Huge improvement, huge. honestly. Huge improvement. Maybe um, the best thing that we've done on this thing. There's a lot of best things. There's a lot of stuff. That's true. But still, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. It is pretty awesome. So, what you guys haven't seen is just put a winch on there. Which one did you go with? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> it's a 4,500 pound winch. 4,500 pound winch. Popular you option. Can, you guys can figure it out. It's covered up for a reason. Just kidding. <laughs> not for a reason, just. No. And then while we're up front, we've got this Viper Bling. So, you're going to see more of that on this build. Yeah. We got that custom. Could have washed it better, Ryan. It's all dinged up, dude. Um, so kind of like the, the Turbo S build, we did the, the multicolor A-arm uh, powder coat, kind of matched Yeah, the we cage. wanted the pretty, pretty one up top and then more of a black standard gloss on the bottom yep. in case we dinged it up. So we have the Viper sway bar disconnects up front. Um, ended up taking the sway bar completely out of it. That just is there for pretty now. Um, Voodoo off camber edition KRX cage. We have these available, so if you guys are interested, shoot us an email at offcamberend at gmail.com. Yeah, let's get a side profile of the cage. Yep, yeah. and then we can direct you where you need to go. So to the, the signature off camber swoop or hoop in the back. Yeah, same as our Turbo S cages. Yep. Gives it a nice cool little profile, keeps it rain off the back of your neck. Windshield. Gives it a rain spot. Powder to match. A little bit of tent in the glass. Yeah. Okay. Chupacabra, the Pro Series mirrors. Another the thing, cool thing about these things is yeah. they have this bracket that you can mount lights directly onto the mirror yeah. bracket, which makes it super nice because you super don't have to convenient. have another ditch bracket that connects into the, the cage bones, which is pretty cool. Yep, it sets a little bit further out. So if you're down here, the yeah. light's gonna be right here, whereas that with the little side shooter allows it to shoot out past the tire where yeah. you need it. So uh, we have the KMC grenade in the negative 10 millimeter offset wheels, which puts us, I think we just measured it, just measured. 72 inches wide overall, mm -hmm. stock length arms. Um, we're doing the over Predator tires, been really 34 really inch. happy with those things so far. They've been impressive. Uh, so they just, they just announced, announced today. Recently, guess what's coming out? 32 inch and 32 35 inch. inch rock monster. So a rock stickier, monster. softer compound, rock yeah. specific tire. Similar, more flat profile like that. A little more aggressive lugs on the side, but it's overall softer compound should be really yeah. good. It's gonna be a competitor to like tires that are more built for rocks like Rockzilla's and, and things like that. You're just gonna have another option. The MRTs and MRTs. Yeah. As well. There aren't many sticky options. No, Mido, Mido has one. So they're gonna throw one in the, in the game and. Hopefully it's good. We'll let you guys know if we can get our hands on a set. Yeah, the wrap. What do we got yeah. on the wrap? You went to designs. Uh, came up with this custom. I think the pattern's called. Was it called Heretic? No. I can't remember. Cryptic. Cryptic. It's a version of Cryptic, I guess. Yeah, just kind of. Yeah, kind of looks like giraffe. Yeah. So hey, if you guys are in Southern Utah, hit up Bracken over at You Into Designs. Does really good work really happy with it um, yep I can't keep one nice for very long anyway so this is the nice side this is the pretty side this is the good side the other side pretty rough um, one of a few sets of Viper door handles for the for the KRX I think this is one of two so can they get those or no I probably not I mean I don't I, think so I don't, this is one of two so this is <laughs> <laughs> Lee one of the <laughs> One of the Viper guys, these are, were for his personal car, and he choked it up and let me have them. So, sorry, Lee, I got nice the car handles, but I'm not sorry, really, because I love them. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> so, inside, uh, recent upgrades. So, we did uh, SSV works. I did the rocker switch radio in there. Yeah, so all it is is it pops right in like a rocker switch and then back behind it, it actually has what, it has a 200 amp. watt amp. Yep, and you can run four uh, four speakers off of it. I four. opted to just go with two in the doors because I'm kind of old and I just listen to podcasts when I drive. So didn't feel like I needed a crazy boom and radio, but one yeah, of so the option. KRX, you just cut out that little circle and it goes right in. Yeah, so they're already pre set up for door speakers at six and a half. So I just put this system together and been pretty happy with it so far. 
Um, you know, it's not overpowering when you're driving at high RPMs, but if you're crawling and stuff, you can hear it. If you're parked, you can hear it. It's pretty cool. Um, and other inside stuff, Viper shifter, obviously, that's... That is a must-have in a two-seat Carex. Basic. Like you gotta you. have it. This should almost come from the factory with that in there. Yep. So if you guys are buying... We know some people at Kawasaki. Make it happen. <laughs> right. If you're buying a car from York Motorsports, you might as well just buy it with one of those in yep. there. Yep, tell them to put just it in. Tell them to put it in. Just right? tell them to deck it out. You don't want to get it until it's in there. You want yeah. all the Viper stuff on there. You want all that. You want, you want the bling down here. All of it. Yeah. Support those guys. They okay. make really good products. Um, PRP GTSE seats. Saw those PRP four-point harnesses. Um, with the cage, we lose the seatbelt bracket up here, the automotive style. So yeah. we went with the Dragon Fire um, seatbelt harness. What's cool about this is the Carex has this little space in the back, and these are quick disconnects on the harnesses. So it's kind of cool when you take your seats out and or you want to access the space behind the seat. They yeah. just kind of that is nice, not Could to have to unwrap right. it off the bar. Super nice. Um, didn't do radios in this one, didn't do ruggeds. It was our second car, you know, kind of our group car at first. And yeah, it's hard to hard to justify the cost yeah, of the extra two grand or whatever. But we've been using the Cardos a lot lately, lately and been super, super happy with how, how they perform and, and the flexibility they give us to get up in and out of the car and be able to film and and talk to each other and not have to scream in the camera and stuff like that. So. Yeah, we've never really talked about it, but we we probably grab the Cardos more often now than than the Ruggeds. Yeah. You know? We should do kind of a pro and con. I mean, because they're not, it's not a competition between those. It's not like Rugged yeah, and PCI. They're not competitors, no. no. They're, they're not competitors. Um, so it's just a different option. We should do a kind yeah. of a something. Yeah, maybe after this we'll do a separate video talking about that. So yeah. stay tuned for that. They're really nice. We've been really happy with those things. Uh, if you guys... They've been around the motorcycle industry for years and years and years, um, just making their way into off-roading and side-by-sides and stuff like that. So in here, a couple of our signature things right here. We did the the foam decking on the roof. Yep. Or the, we get a lot inside. of comments about that. We get a lot of questions, a lot of comments, and we've started to do it on every single build. It's so a Amazon. Amazon. Just EVA boat decking or EVA foam on Amazon. Yep. It'll pop Changes up. the whole look in there. Colors, ton of patterns. Okay, and then we did the PRP steering wheel yep. as well. And that pretty much wraps up the inside. Yep. Windshield. Back here again, we've got the spring kit. Same powder combo there. A bunch of pretty Viper stuff in the back. Pretty Viper. Bling back and down there. And toe points. And then we got the the sway bar link tie-ups up there for the too rear. for the rear so another recent addition we did the triple s skid plate it's not all the way on it was yeah we're working on that tonight the garage the other day and i said forget it i'm done yeah so, so what like 80 to 90 percent on there and just have these <laughs> so we're working on it working so on it. we're gonna get to it tonight but we this is what we're talking about when you can't have nice things yeah <laughs> we need triple s to make a skid plate that goes all the way up here for ryan yeah, what do you think? There. Yeah, so one thing that makes this unique is this skid plate comes up an extra lip. Normally it just has the bend and stops right here yeah. on most of the Carex skid plates. This one comes up like it did on our razors. So, so uh, what? You're acting like it's 11 o'clock. <laughs> dude, look at this beard, dude. I'm old. That's I'm true. To go to bed. That's true. So, uh, that's about it. We haven't done anything else. No performance mods, no... Yeah, we haven't done any, no, no clutching, no tuning, no gearing so far. We haven't even done an oil change on it yet. You really haven't? No, it's only got like 25 hours on it. That's the, It's right about now. That's the spot, man. Spot Gotta so. get that liquid molly in there. Yep. So she's due for that. I'm gonna change all the diff fluid and all that stuff and she's gonna be fresh for, for our next ride here. Got any other big plans on it? I think that's it, man. Until we stretch it 10 inches, portal it, long travel it, and then turbo it. You know, to be honest, like... We're trying to talk them into portals. I don't think it needs the power. I would love it to be a little bit wider. But I got another car coming that's plenty wide for 
anything. Yeah, it's hard to justify spending money on power and width when you have a powerful wide car coming. So, I mean, if this thing does great in rocks, I've done 99.9% .9 of everything I did in the Turbo S in this car. It feels not that bad, not as bad. So, yeah, your four-seater should be getting close, man. Dude. I think, it's on, I think it's on a truck right now. Should be. Probably driving overnight. So I saw on Facebook today the first one What's that the date I've seen today? Landed. 14th? Today's July 14th? 14th? July 14th. Landed in a dealership in Texas or something. By the time this video comes out, there's a chance that have you might have a KRX4. Maybe. Yeah. One of the first in Utah. Let's hope. Yeah, so, I mean, everything we've been hearing from our dealer... Becky, thank you so much for York Motorsports, York Vernal, Motorsports Utah. Vernal, Utah. There you go. Um, call them up. I think they had what a couple units they were able to order on the first initial push, like three or four, I think, is what she told us. So again, big thanks to, to Kawasaki. They had a really good event for that launch. Yeah, we met a lot of cool people from Kawasaki. They seem like a really, really good group of of people, and uh, stand behind their product, and they're they're proud of what they put together. And yeah, that was fun. We like it. I like the car a lot. Yep. So, I think that's an understatement. Yeah, he loves it. He like loves it. it. He does. I do. But all in all, you know, really good car. I love my Turbo S, and I hope, uh, Travis, hope you're out there loving it too. I miss it a little bit. I miss opening the garage and seeing it out there. But, you know, it is it is what it is, and time for that thing to leave. And Yeah. And part of it too is we want to build different vehicles for the channel. So yeah. part of that's for you guys where... You know, Eric just built up the general. We got a bunch of seat time. We got the pros and cons. Yeah. Time to move on to the next build. Tested so, a parts. yeah, learned a lot of things for a lot of people. You know, hopefully we we help some people out with that information. Yeah. And so we're gonna kind of pioneer the way on the KRX four. We should be one of the first ones to have it. It's not gonna be a brand new concept for us because we've had pretty extensive experience with this one and other KRXs that we've driven. But yeah, yeah a lot of KRX content coming your way. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, we've got some plans to get out there more. Yeah. This um, garage stuff needs to. It, it's too hot. It's too hot. But Tell the people we live in St. George, Utah. 107 degrees. In That's July, serious. yeah. In July, it does not get under 100 degrees. No. You got to go out before 8:30 a.m. or after 9 p.m. You go in the boat or you stay home. Go in the boat. <laughs> you, get out, you go right and you get out real early. Yeah. yeah, so subscribe if you're a KRX fan, Cowie fan, want to see more of that. Uh, definitely subscribe. you got a lot more coming. Any cool products. I think one thing when you asked what we were going to do, I know this kind of just kicked in my head, but um, there's a company out there. What was that, what was that company called? I don't remember. Pro Steel or something? Pro Steel. I think maybe we'll put the link in the thing below, but they have a, uh, a mount that mounts in the trunk area that allows you to snap in the Milwaukee pack, pack oh, boxes. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I think I'm gonna do some sort of setup with coolers and in toolboxes with the Milwaukee stuff, and maybe put one of those in there. I so really cool. hope DRT is coming out with a a trunk enclosure for these, I like do. they did on mine. I want something across the back, and I still want to use the pack up stuff. So right. So what I'm saying is, like if they could do a, a lid that, that closes yeah. it off, and you still could put the thin pack out in there, that'd be nice. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Already planning it out. All right. Well, nice. That's the plan. That'd be awesome. Come on, yeah. DRT. Yep. They got a KRX in their shop. They're really? doing it right now. They're scanning everything, oh, making good. parts. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know specifically. Yeah, yeah, I don't know hey, specifically if they're doing anything back here. Both, right? Two seater, this four is, seater. This is the base model, yeah. but then there's like the, the ES model and special edition that has the sub, sub that back. takes up some of Oh, that. right. Do them both, please. <laughs> <laughs> you can start with the two seater. <laughs> yeah, start with this base model. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, good guys. Got a lot of their stuff on the Turbo S or the Turbo R so far. Super nice stuff. Yeah. So look forward to, to some stuff. All right. Here. So subscribe. You'll like, see us again. Share. Like. And uh, we do a lot of our little build uh, updates on Instagram too, so watch that. Yeah. Yeah. Off cam at Off Camber IND. Yeah. Find us there. If you guys want Cajun queries, Off Camber IND, IND at gmail.com. Or actually, this is just on our website. So we'll put the link to the website for the cage yeah. in the video. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's on. What website by then? No, it's on, it's on Booty's website. The off-camera cage is oh, on yeah, there. Yeah, so we'll just put the direct link to it. Yep. You can order right there. Cool. See you guys later. Take care. See you.